Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. Wow! set it on fire with my breath. It's way too hot to pick up now. It should cool off in a little while. It's turned off. The glass is now filled with water. It's special gas for chainsaws only. It's pretty full. The fireplace is very sooty and filled with that. Great, now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, there's no paper in the Printron 3000. There, the blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. It's my job application of mucus phlegm. Hope I get it. The envelope is addressed, just needs a stamp. Just down the hall is the big... Diggin! George, the postman will never pick it up without stamps on it. Diggin'! Diggin'! Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all the entirety. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! It's the archway. I can't use my application with that. Uncle Chuck never- Hello, my favorite niece. Thanks for chatting, Uncle Chuck. Why don't you practice your ASCII conversion? All my trons rely on it. Okay, Uncle Chuck. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. I think Uncle Chuck is too busy to notice. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. 
As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. I have to find a safe way to remove the stamps. Just down the hall is... It doesn't work in that. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. I don't feel like the taste for a non-trademark infringing poopsie now. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. It's a letter to my own. It's a glass filled with water. My letter to Mucus Phlegm is now stamped and ready to mail. How exciting! I hope I get the job. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. Diggin! It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... I can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck about my job offer. He'll be so proud. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, Uncle Chuck, great news. Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh, here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh, to be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. 
You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. Where? If by look at if by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. I don't want to pick that up. It's my speck of dust. There's no path beyond. There's no path beyond this point. It there's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished temp art from a cut room. That ransom the clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Oh, no way am I going to look in there. I can sm I don't want to pick that up. Ha, ha, I look good. Looks like a really big tube. I'd rather not. I can imagine what it looks like in there. I'd rather not. I can imagine what it looks like if lots lots of super absorbent paper on this roll. Ugh, ugh. They're all used up. It's called Levo's Bear Repellent. When you have this, you don't need to bear arms. Take it. It was a sample from a traveling animal repellent salesman. But I doubt if it actually works. I wouldn't want to find out. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Junior Special Agent Reyes. Uh, I'm not Holden, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. Let's not go there. Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Tell me a bit about yourself, Leonard. Dude, how do you know my name? Are you like telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here with free coffee and minimum wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody and he never has any money. 
but for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. Can I take a look at that security tape? Oh, no can do, broski. We only have one Betamax tape here at the Quickie Pal, and the boss man would freak if I gave it away. If I lose it, my ass is grass. Why do you have a Betamax player? We have one sweet, cutting-edge Betamax player here. We don't want to be stuck with a piece of obsolete technology when VHS bites the big one. Gotta invest in the superior tech, dude. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that dweeb when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college, just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. None taken. Ugh, these flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the Quickie Pal for one. I'm going to look around your store. It's an I'm sorry you were caught out. Wish I had a walkie talkie so I could call Agent Ray. It's an I'm sorry your face won't come off card. There's a picture of a clown with a lot of hair. Let me know if I can help you find anything. It's an I'm sorry you're feeling like a beep card. Jeez. It's an I'm sorry for being a dick card. I personally... No thanks. Sure are a lot... Isn't this kind of rubbing it in? How can I help you? Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm going to look around your store. I'd play if it were a sure thing. I don't want to pick that up. It looks hungry. I don't have an extra finger, though. Let me know if I can help you with anything. There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little dude. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't even pay for them. Something about immature dominion or something like that. Oh, um, guess I'm on camera. I can't open that. Looks pretty dark down there. I can't see anything there, but it's pretty stinky. This grate is both bolted and welded shut. No way I'm going to open it. It's been long enough. Maybe you should just try switching to Agent Ray.
I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. The only thing I get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. I don't want to pick the only thing I get from poking around these boxes is a c an arm extended in friendship or supplication. Hmm. Hard to tell. Certainly looks fake. It's made of plastic. No murder here. It's made of plastic. No murder here. Looks like this valve has been welded into position forever. I can't turn it. It's made of plastic. No murder here. This valve has also been welded into position. That grate won't come off. I can see a quickie pal store. I can see a quickie pal store. It's sealed shut. No way to open it. It's a tunnel. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. It's a tunnel. Looks like someone knew I was going to get stuck down here. Unless my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. Only one way to find out, I guess. It needs a dime to work. I'd say that leads somewhere I don't want to go. I'm looking for an escape route, but I'm looking to go up, not down. An empty coin return slot. An empty coin return slot. The only thing I get from poking around these boxes is a case of sneezes. The only thing I get from poking around these boxes... Looks fine to me. I can see a quickie pal store. There's the quick... Looks pretty dark down there. Wait, I see Agent Ray. Agent Ray, is that you? No, it's the Pope. The Vatican decided to take me on a tour of the sewers. Of course it's me, you idiot. Why are you in the sewer? Enjoying the sights and smells, practicing my sewer spelunking hobby, hunting for ninja turtles. Take your pick. You go spelunking? No, you moron. Someone attacked me when I was investigating the alley behind the diner. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need medical attention? I'm fine. I've woken up in worse states and in worse places than this. But usually there was tequila involved. Did you see who attacked you? I will have them arrested so fast their head will spin. No, they came at me from behind. It was lights out before I had a chance to turn around. But I'm guessing whoever it was doesn't like us poking around town. We'll make them pay for this, Agent Ray. Just as soon as we get you out of that sewer. 
have you looked around the sewers yet? Yeah, but I couldn't find an exit. There is a payphone down here, though, so I might be able to call someone. Neat! Except I don't have any dimes, and my cell phone doesn't work down here. Is there anything I can do? I could see if the sheriff can help? For all we know, the coroner Areno put me here himself. Huh. Good point. If you want to make yourself useful, see if you can find me a dime for the payphone. I'm on it, Agent Ray. Don't panic, Agent Ray. I'm not panicking. I said don't panic, Agent Ray. You need to conserve oxygen. I really don't. But believe me when I say, I'm doing as little breathing as possible down here. I have some great survival tips. I have a survival tip for you, Reyes. Oh, yeah? It's called Zip It, and I won't punch you in the nuts when I get out of this sewer. Are you sure you don't want to hear my survival tips? Fine. Lay one on me. My abuela always said, spray rodent repellent in your shoes if you want to keep rodents away from your shoes. That's the most obvious, stupid advice I've heard. No more tips from you, Reyes. Although I am starting to wish I hadn't traded that gopher repellent I had for a carrot cake. It was delicious, though. Is there anything I can do? If you want to make yourself useful, see if you can- I'm on it, Agent Ray. I'll be back as soon as I can. Don't screw this up, Reyes. All the lights are out. It must be broken. The instructions say, insert coupon for movie. I can't open that. I think it's broken. All the lights are out. It must be broken. The instructions... Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? How can I help you? Uh, I'm not holding... I'm going to look around your store. Let me know if I can help you find anything. Do you know my cousin Bernie? Oh, no way am I going to look in there. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. It's out of order. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. An old cash register. I don't think they'd like that. I don't think they'd like that. What can I do for you, honey? Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. <laughs> 